Alright guys, so a couple of weeks ago I had a request to do a video on different kinds of Batman pouches. Uh, firstly I'd like to apologise for the lateness of the video to Toy and Mora. Uh, apologise if I uh, pronounced that incorrectly. But these are a few of the ideas I've had. So first is a simple design of essentially a cuboid that's been unfolded. And I will now put it together and show you how this 2D design uh, will make will come into a Batman pouch. So this 2D design which I've made myself but you could possibly get or probably get a uh, design off uh, Google Images and all I've done is first I made out the, drew out the design and then I folded up a one without the flaps, this one here, just so I could see how it came together. That's your bottom and then your top and then where that line is you fold that down and that's the flap. So that's essentially the pouch, but then I realised and put the tabs on it. Now these tabs will be used to actually glue the edges together. So once that folded up, I'll stick a bit of glue on the outside of that tab, and that will stick into there. And then I'll stick a bit of glue on the outside of that tab, and that will stick to the bottom. And that'll be two sides glued together, and then you've got your top and fold that over. So let's do that. So a little tip I have as well for you, if you're doing your craft work, um, most things you buy today come in packaging like this. And this is a obviously a battery, but the best thing about it is obviously you buy your battery or whatever it is, and it comes in the clear packaging like this. And once you get it out, you can remove all that, you have yourself Essentially, I have a little paint box, a little paint tub that you can put all your paints in. So you can put your paint in there, get your brush, dip it in, and start painting away. Or, as I'm going to use it for, putting my glue in. It saves you things getting messy. So yeah, just thought I'd share that little tip with you. That's what I use. It says going out buying expensive paint pots as well. Let's get to it. the sides glued together and then obviously that's your top that'll fold over to make the top of the pouch and you just need to glue the bottom together. So, so that the tabs inside the pouch itself sticks, you can your know, best thing to do is put a bit of weight in. Now I'm going to use my old iPhone. So just place something heavy in and pat it down. Just so you know that it's all stuck together. So pretty much the pouch done. Because I've done it quick time, I'm just going to trim the edges that uh, flush. Make sure that's stuck, still not stuck down. And 
and then what you have to do find where your top end falls over and then put a slight crease fold it over and there you have it one Batman pouch and like I say once you've done one design um, one template sorry that's the original template without the tabs if you just do one of those and then use that template to make as many pouches as you want so that's the first one that's the first Batman pouch and then you can use either some velcro to stick that down and then on the back what you can do is if you get another piece of card into a strip like that fold two ends in and then fold them back out and then slightly bend that so it makes it rounded like that and just bend it in slightly so it holds it like that and get another bit of glue and put it on the tabs on the ends and if you place on the back like so and when that dries that is a perfect loop to slide onto your belt. So that's idea number one. On to number two. So for uh, the second pouch, this is more of a uh, early comics, early 1960s uh, material pouch look. And for this one, you're going to need two. Sorry, two small ovals and one long oval. And the long one measures out at roughly 29 and a half centimeters and the two small ones roughly 10 centimeters. And the way I'm gonna put this one together is using masking tape. So, let's go.
rounded retro style pouch ready for your Batman belt or Robin and again same with that as the same with this one you can put on a little belt loop again pull out the flaps depending on what size belt obviously you have it on will depend on what size belt loop you can stick on the back there's two very simple and relatively easy Batman belt pouches that you can make. Well, I've just made these out of card and you can make them out of possibly a box card which is a bit thicker and makes big, a bit more durable or you can make them out of the same card and as I do with a lot of my projects a bit of PVA glue and some newspaper, a bit of mache and that will strengthen them up. Another, another option you can use, obviously this is for my Batman belt, but this is the metal cigarette case, but what you could do is get an actual normal cardboard cigarette case, gently peel it away, peel away the sides until it opens up similar to this. It'll be very similar to this actually and it'll already have the tabs on it uh, so you can just make it into two design and then paint it or you can paint it whilst it's all fully whilst it's, whilst it's still all together or what you could do is like I say peel away the sides until it's an open 2D design like this place it onto some card, some thicker card use it as a template like this template here and uh, draw around it so that you can make a more durable Batman pouch. So yeah, this is for uh, Tula Mora. Apologies for this video coming a bit late. Um, these videos for my channel are more of a hobby than anything. And uh, I really appreciate all you, all of you subscribing, and liking my videos. Uh, please keep the suggestions coming. I've got another suggestion from uh, another subscriber asking for a uh, medieval shield so that video will be coming soon uh, I'll be finishing this um, cosplay Batman belt off as well uh, I haven't forgot about it <laughs> um, so yeah please like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video cheers